just riding and Titus came up with a song for the man ain't got no business song. Y'all ready, boys? Yeah. A man ain't a man ain't a man ain't. A man ain't a man ain't a man ain't got no business. Man ain't got no business. Doctor's appointment where I'm almost here, and you know, I got a theme song a man ain't got no business in, in the background. Man ain't got no business, not taking his wife to the doctor. <laughs> this is a good day, I said, need to start the rebuilding life. The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone on. IG Farm family. Me and Tyler are about to head down to the front of the property. We have a package that was delivered, and I, I'll wait and show y'all what that package is once we get down there. You, you gonna, oh yeah, you'll see. I ain't told Tyler see. It's not a surprise. It's just a package. You can let the dogs out, Tyler. We'll take them with us. <coughs> Noah, you wanna go to the front of the property with us? We got a package down there. Oh, uh, I'll show you when we get. It's not a surprise, but I'll show you when we get down there. It's something I can work out with. I'm, I'm on, the, on the days when I don't feel like going to the gym. What you, what you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get a little cardio in. But yeah, while we're going down to uh, to the front of the property, we're going we're gonna to pass by the pond. And it's, it's really fishing season. We probably should have been went fishing already because <laughs> it's really almost spring. But uh, it's still a little bit cold here and there in the mornings and at night. But during the day, as y'all can see, grass is starting to green up. Let me show you out this way. I know somebody was asking where we're we gonna plant grass in front of Emma. But I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, everything is starting to green up out here. And probably about by May or, so, or May, maybe the end of April, middle of April, you're not even gonna be able to see any dirt out here at all, you know, because uh, all this grass is gonna come back because the grass seed is still down. We just needed a year, you know, to uh, let all the dirt, you know, get locked in and not wash away and get that grass time to recover after we did all the dirt work and everything with the mobile home pad and with the septic tank and with the water lines and all those type of things. So everything should be recovered this year. And as you can see, everything is start, everything is starting to green up because this was all dirt, you know, just. Everything is starting to green up because this was all dirt, you know, just last year around this time because we were doing all the work but we're gonna go ahead and get some fish feed tired of snow y'all come on we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of fish feed and feed the fish while we're down there because uh, we're trying to get our fish ready so we can take our first fishing trip make sure they're nice and fat and healthy <laughs> get on back uh little nivia heaven i call her a little bit oh yeah she's ready to eat oh uh, yeah Little Nivia running around, want some food. She just ate not long ago. She probably got another hour or two before her feeding time. What, how many balls is she eat, hey. eating uh, now, Titus? About three I a day? Two. Two a day. She eats one in the morning. Sometimes she eats one around, uh, what, 12 after lunch? Yeah. Sometimes she doesn't eat that one real well. But then she eats one around our dinner, our dinner time. She eats one. And then sometimes she'll eat one right before bed, right around 8 o'clock. But uh, most of the time, she she eats two good feedings. But uh, after those two good feedings, look, she's she trying to get you from behind, ain't I? <laughs> Nivia. Little Heaven. Her name is uh, Nivia. Uh, heaven spelled backwards. But I call her a little bit. <laughs> it's just easier to say. <laughs> What's up? Cloudy. You got Cloudy. So, so we have Nivia, or a little bit. We have Cloudy, which is the white sheep. The boys named her. We have Sister, which is Nivia's abandoning mama <laughs> we have this sheep doesn't have a name yet you have naomi you have uh misty who was born during a rainstorm you have lily and billy you have jumpy i think that's jumpy 
Cause uh, it, yeah, I don't know. Is Jumpy the one with the dark face titles? Uh, yeah. She's the one that always jumps in the uh, in the feed bowl when we're feeding doing farm chores. And then does this one have a name, Titus? Uh, this one. Does she have a name? No, this one, right here. I don't think she has a name. This. So, so we have two sheep hey, without hey, names. And then you know we have Boaz and BJ down there. All right, let's get some food, fish food, y'all. Help me. All right, y'all. So we made it out of there <laughs> with all of the sheep trying to attack us. Get in, no. Except a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. She wanted to come with us. Well, come on, Solo. At first, Solo used to follow us. Getting a little crazy around, around here. Focusing on that baby sheep. Oh, yeah. Wait on us, no. It's snake season. Let the dogs get in front of you. <clears throat> yeah, one of the main uh things that I've trained the dogs to do is to, uh you know, keep the kids safe from snakes. And so usually... Gideon gets a little bit distracted by Solo, but Solo goes behind us and Gideon goes in front of us. And so you have the boys are usually surrounded by the dogs. And so the dogs have saved the boys a few times from getting, you know, from step, yeah. stepping, stepping on snakes and getting bit by snakes. One, one time Carter and Tim were running down that way and there was a black rush and Gideon just ran up and attacked it before he even got there. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Walk down here. We'll, I guess we'll feed the fish first, boys, mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, open the farm gates. Then we'll open the farm gates. Well, not open the farm gates, but get our package. The grass again, so hot. Ain't it though? It's like all of a sudden, all the fields are starting to get green. It's like, look at this grass. Even the grass is poking out of big rock. Mm hmm. Like that grass is ready to be mowed. Yeah, so we got we got, we got some fun times we're gonna have around here, and I was actually supposed to have a, supposed to have a zero turn by now, Titus, mm -hmm. but I hadn't got it because we had to put the excursion in the shop, and I don't, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but we, we're we're back down to one vehicle now because of uh, the excursion. The brakes went out on the excursion, and they have them fixed, and uh, it was still stopping and everything, but you can tell that they weren't functioning properly. So I took it to the shop, dropped it off. They had the brakes fixed. I could have went and got it today, but there's also some other things that they want to fix or that I want them to fix because uh, y'all know that uh, left rear tail light, it, it was going in and out. It, uh, we thought it was the bulb, but it has a short in it. And so they got that replaced for me. They said that the front shocks on the excursion were upside down. <laughs> so they got those flipped up the right way. And then they said that they think that some of the body mounts or something like that might be loose because they can hear a little bit of vibration and rattling. And so they're going to tear a couple things off and get those fixed let's get these sheep, these sheep fed but i'm not these sheep <laughs> what i'm talking about let's get these fish fed i can see them swimming around now they're waiting on us hold up Ty. let me see if the subscribers can see these fish swim can y'all see those fish you probably can't see them on camera let's see i think they swam off you know i, I, saw, I, see, I see them there they go let's see yeah, thing. can y'all see them it's like 20 or 30 little brim sitting right there Waiting on us to throw, throw some fish food in. All right, Taj, you know to start. Let me see, let me hold it for you. Yeah, go ahead and grab it and throw it in. Toss on right there. We see them fish. You see all those fish? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just some catfish since it's so warm. There it goes. <clears throat> but yeah, as far as that uh, duck wheat there, uh, if we get it while it still has leaves on it, because there are no roots, the roots are just kind of like sitting on top of the water. And so we, we, you can take a rake and with a long handle, and if you can grab onto it, you can just pull it all out. It'll all come out at one time. But uh, it's best to get it when the pond is kind of low because you can get close to it. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get out here before the leaves start dying off and get that duck wheat dragged off hopefully that'll be a video y'all see pretty soon because i was actually at home depot looking for uh rakes that you could twist on because i have like a a, a paint uh roller uh thing that you can extend out you know to paint up high and i have to get on the ladder but uh i don't have a, a, a attachment that goes on the end you know that i can screw on and so i was looking for that at home depot but they didn't have anything so i might have to like take a a, a hard rake like a garden rake and then duct tape it <laughs> to the end of the uh, pain extender thing and get that stuff out. But we'll figure something out. All 
All right, y'all, I got my package, and I've been waiting on this. And I actually ordered a mat, too, because uh, I have problems jump roping outside when the ground, you know, on the ground, the grass catches up on it, or the, the dirt catches up on it. So I ordered a little mat as well that I can have outside the jump rope. Because I don't know if the, the roof inside of uh, Emma is tall enough. Ty said he wants to see me jump rope. You want to see me jump rope right now, Ty? Yep. All right, let's see. Let's see if you can move. He doing it. Oh yeah, I see you got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With house shoes on. I can do it better if I have my real shoes on. Mm -hmm. You better bag up, bro. Yeah, I'm just getting caught up because I got these house shoes on. Can't jump mm -hmm. All right, y'all, like I said, we don't have too much going on today. We're just kind of preparing and getting ready for our two days worth of appointments. And I think I'll just pick y'all up tomorrow uh, when we're headed to the doctor's appointment and just see what we can get into. So y'all just follow us along for this journey. It's IAG Farms. It's all about God. First day of spring And I just want to sing To everything that's moving Every single little thing to them birds flying free, fish in the sea, flowers and trees, every little bumblebee. I want to sing, ooh, ah, mm -hmm. oh. To the kids playing hoops, going loose. How'd it go? Great. I got to see how much Benjamin weighs. Good, so good. I'm going to make y'all all guess. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear everybody's guess before I tell them because she made me guess. That's so, right. Yeah. I love He's it. doing great. He passed all his tests and um, they have some notes for our doctor that's going to actually deliver Benjamin and um, we're, we're good to go. Good to go. All right. One down, one more to go tomorrow. All right, let's load up and get on back to the farm. Okay, let's go. All right. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow for the next appointment. We got our windows down. Driving down the 405. Sing along to the radio. Make it someday. Nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go. Putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. We're taking our shot. Bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're back. We'll play loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night Oh, 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 oh. Saturday All right, y'all, it is day two of doctor's appointments and I'm just gonna head in and see what my regular doctor has to say. I have to get a checkup every week at this point, but I'm just excited to get going and um, it's just getting closer and closer until Benjamin arrives. So I'm so glad about that. I'm gonna get in here and get Benjamin checked up and I will pick you back up later um yes yeah, so i will just continue glorying in um the days for benjamin to come and then we'll just pick you back up and talk to you later
Oh, so we got one more well or two more, two more. Uh, we have I think two more appointments but she said she'll let me know next week whether or not she wants me to come the week of delivery so we'll see then. okay so we do have two more appointments I have to look at the calendar okay but, um, you know the week we deliver I think is a Friday yeah and so she'll let me know if she wants me to come in Thursday and then deliver on Friday or if She's just gonna see me and deliver straight up because next week, the week after next is delivery week. Yes, think so. But so, I so you think we only had one more appointment? Well, probably two more, but she said she'll let me know next week. So if if we don't have one the week of delivery, it'll just be one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. That's what I was asking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got you. All right, hop on in so we can get on right, home. Let's go. That was a long appointment, boys, wasn't it? We watched mm -hmm. the movie. Yeah, we watched the movie, chilled out in the back of the truck. Was like we, we, we didn't think that appointment was going to ever end. It's two hours. I get here at 10. What is it, 12? Yeah, it's about 12. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, it just feel, it feels much longer when you don't go to McDonald's. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to McDonald's and eat uh, French fries and yeah. chicken yeah, we're, 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 we're sitting here hungry. We're smelling all those smells coming from uh, all those restaurants over there. We got to get us some neat. I think so, too. Yeah. Listen, I, um, somebody was ordering lunch in the uh, place. Oh, yeah. And I was about to, I was like. For oh, real. About to die. <laughs> about to fall out. Mm -hmm. so good. We ate like a big breakfast, though. Yeah, but it's but been a long time a long since time then. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> all right, boys. Y'all ready to get some neat? Get some lunch? Yeah. All right, y'all, we'll pick y'all up when we get back to the farm and talk to y'all about Benjamin, talk to y'all about his weight, show y'all his little crib, bassinet, and all that fun stuff, and uh, just talk to y'all about this whole process because the countdown is on. It's not this week, not next week, but the week after that, that. Did, Benjamin is definitely going to be here. Like We're going to get a chance to see him face-to-face, -face, look in his eyes and meet him and shake his hand and tell him what a man ain't got no business oh, doing. He's telling me that he's ready anytime. Tell him a man ain't anytime. got no business crying. <laughs> Alright, y'all pick y'all up at the house. Alright, IG Farm family. We're back at the farm. And uh, we kind of came in and got a little bit settled. And uh, took a nap. <laughs> settled in and recovered from my... Uh, Two doctor's appointments in two days I know. from this big countdown of <laughs> Benjamin coming. You wouldn't think a doctor's appointment would take anything out of you, that it would just be yeah. routine, but then when you drive an hour hours. there and an hour back and you live way out in the middle of the country, it takes a little bit out of you and you have to entertain uh, 
three little boys, three little kids. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit out of you, but you, we, we've uh, recovered now. And we're, we're about to get out here and do some uh, evening farm chores. We figured we'd bring you all along and uh, give you all the updates and talk to you all about little Benjamin. And, you know, uh, maybe we'll get a chance to take you all in here and show you all this bassinet as well, if we don't forget. But we're going to go in here and feed the baby lamb. And we need to fill up some of the pig waters as well. I don't know how far along we'll bring you all. But uh, let's just get in here and feed this baby lamb and just give you all some updates about little Benjamin. What's up, baby lamb? Look at her. She, 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 that's the first time she's ever done that. Oh, no. Might not want to do that. She, 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 she almost got up there. You know, she didn't have quite the energy of a grown sheep. But you can already tell she's going to be trouble. <laughs> Our sheep mentors had a sheep named Trouble. You said, what's her name? They said Trouble. <laughs> All right. Let's get close. Megan is going to feed us today. Yeah, we've uh, kind of been taking turns feeding the lamb. Titus was doing it at first, and then we kind of, you know, switched up, gave him a break. Yeah, it's been mostly Titus. Yeah, yeah. but then Tim did it a little bit, Noah did it a little bit. Yeah. Mm hmm. You can sit down right there. I, I usually sit down right there. Mm hmm. Yeah. I say, sit down is hard to get up, huh? <laughs> So talk to us about Benjamin. What's the what, what are the updates? Um, so Benjamin is doing great. Every week we've been getting an ultrasound where they look for some specific things. They want to see him practice breathing. They want to make sure my amniotic fluids are good. Mm -hmm. And they want to make sure he has a strong heartbeat. And so all of that has checked out every single time. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, for those of you who guessed his weight, let me tell you. He is a whopping seven pounds and four ounces. And not even ready to be born yet. I Got know. two more weeks before Ooh. he's born. <laughs> now that's just an estimate. Mm -hmm. Um, so he could weigh less, he could weigh more. But yeah. um, when they told me that, I was like, "Oh, so can we have him today?" <laughs> that's gonna be a big baby. <laughs> I was like, "You can't get any mm -hmm. bigger." We got to look back at our records, from some of the birth certificates from yeah, other children, yeah, yeah. and see, see because I, I didn't, I didn't think we had a baby that was eight pounds. I thought all our children were like seven pounds yeah. and however many ounces Pretty when they were sure born. Noah snuck in there right at eight somewhere. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, this little sheep is like, listen, I, I want your full attention. <laughs> See, you can't she, do anything else. <laughs> but you know, her evening feeding is not usually. Yeah, she she's going to eat a whole lot. That's yeah. why we uh, feed her once more uh, mm -hmm. before the night time. That's right. So we're, we're, we're down to feeding her about four times. Mm -hmm. But uh, so weight is good. Seven pounds. How many ounces? Four ounces. And then breathing. He's practicing Practice breathing. breathing. Okay. My amniotic fluids are good. Um, you know, and his uh, heartbeat is strong and, you know, everything else checks out. They do a whole thing where they look at his brain and his spine and, you know, pretty much all of his anatomy okay. and um, all that's, that's checked out so far. So what are we looking like on this birth date? Birth date. Two more weeks, y'all. Two more weeks. We might have one more doctor's appointment or two. Probably two. But two more. at the most. And then Benjamin Probably will be here. So we got to get this forward excursion <laughs> ready. I got to call uh, the shop and be like, I, I got my truck ready. It's going to be ready in two weeks. <laughs> and the thing about it is, is that at every doctor's appointment, they're ready to take the baby. Like when you go to the doctor, because they, if they see anything wrong, yes, they if they will. see any type of stress, you know, they they, they're ready to take him because he's fully developed and everything. But they just want to kind of wait to that sweet spot yeah. to where he's fully developed. Like, what, what is it? 49? 39, 39 weeks? 39 weeks is what my doctor said was ideal, you know, because they call it like pretty much full term. Um, even though you got a week until the 40 week point, anything, I think after the 36 week point, your baby might have to spend just a short amount of time in the, the NICU, yeah. but mostly that baby's going to be fully developed and just fine after the 36 week mark. But, um, but yeah, the, the closer they get to full term, the better because the less complications you're going to have. That baby's going to be fully developed and ready to go. So yeah. That's right. And so they're, uh, they're scheduling a C-section, right? Yes, at my 39-week mark. Mm -hmm. so. so we have no other choice unless he just pops out well, on, the, on the way. My, my doctor, because I've had three C-sections before. So um, my doctor does not want me to go in labor or to have like 
contractions that might, um, you know, my uterus <laughs> might not be able to take all that. That's why we're doing the C-section. So um, if I start experiencing any contractions, she's going to deliver the baby through C-section. She's like, call us, come in, and we're going to have the baby. So um, if anything, if if I start to feel regular contractions, we're going to have this baby. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So that's fun times. I love it. So is, is anything else on the update? that is all that's where we are benjamin is great everything is great everything is <laughs> this uh, rooster he, he just he just walks circles around you <laughs> and crows he, he doesn't it's like all the animals really and he's really begging for food just like the rest of them look at him but i've got them pretty trained up well because i've been feeding them uh treats me and the boys been have been feeding them treats by hand and so basically all the sheep will come They're up to me now to and let me rub them mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah everything looks great everything's going well i don't think i haven't even had so much as a whisper of a contraction yet so um but if he comes early he comes early but if not we're looking at this two week mark that's right I love it. So like you fed the baby lamb, I guess we can go on about it here. She's over there trying to uh, figure out what to, how to blend in with the rest of the sheep. And she's doing pretty good. All the sheep are looking healthy. And uh, her mama, sister, which is this one right here in the front, is uh, doing well. We're going to give her one more chance at having babies, you know, because the first litter or first, you know, birthing process, raising sheep, raising a baby, you know, sometimes mamas do that. But a lot of times when they do that on their first time having babies, it gets stuck, you know, and they they just don't know what to do, you know. So so hopefully she's not one of those type sheep, you know, because uh, she's actually one of my favorite uh, sheep. She's one of the ones that is the least skittish. She doesn't run at all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it's good to have sheep in her like that because they train the rest of the sheep to not be skittish. Yeah. All right, I guess we're going to our next chore, mama. All right, let's All right baby sheep. We got you fed. We come out and feed you one more time. See Put if in. I can get up. Oh, yeah. I think you got it. Strong Hebrew woman. <laughs> we, we, we were I talking can, about that. I can carry the babies pretty well. It's the, uh, <laughs> yeah, getting them out. Having them out. Yeah, you, you carry them too well. It's like you, you, you're you the most they healthy. You want to come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're healthier than you are when you aren't pregnant. Yeah. Like when you're pregnant. You know, you be getting around, moving yeah. fast, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about uh, the children of Israel, you know, and uh, how the more burden that they put on the the, the the Hebrews or the children of Israel, you know, when they were in slavery to uh, Egypt, the the stronger they got, you know. And we'll talk. Oh. She's okay, gonna she, follow you. Oh yeah. She already, she didn't even want to come. You saw how she stopped when she got out. The, well, she, she was surprised that she got out. <laughs> she hit that board. She uh, was like, "What do I do now?" Stop. <clears throat> yeah, we were talking about the uh, children of Israel and the Hebrew women. And how the more burden that they put on them, the stronger they get. And we're talking about how those babies were so strong that they were able to, like, take them and put them in a, a, a basket and let them float down a river. <laughs> it's like uh, nowadays, it's like we're just so soft, you know, for real. But uh, Megan has the strength of a Hebrew woman when it comes to rearing children. <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Say amen. Amen. That's all. <laughs> Can't argue with that, huh? Oh, yeah. You want to get that? Most definitely. I got the camera hand. I might go ahead, go down here and uh, cause I gotta fit, fill up the uh, hog waters. <clears throat> Titus is really supposed to do that. That's a uh, Titus's chore. We try to get the boys little chores that they can do. And uh, but like I said, we were kind of thrown off today because we were running around, gone all day. Then we got back and you know, kind of tired and had to figure out things to eat and all that type of stuff. And the boys have been taking a nap now. Mm -hmm. Megan and I got us a little nap in as well. That was so, glorious. Oh yeah, for we real. We had a good nap, a good old long nap. It's such a blessing because. When we leave, you know, we're here all the time. But then when we leave and stay, stay gone for a couple of hours and come back, mm -hmm. we really like and, and walk inside of Emma. We really like are able to absorb it. Yeah, then. feel the peace. Because it's just like it's just so comfortable, so peaceful, just so clean and just it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna go down and fill up these waters after I, you know, uh, after we get done with the video. I just do that off of, off camera. But let's take y'all in here and show y'all this bassinet. We still have to get a car seat and what else? Stroller. Yeah, we're getting the combo. 
Yeah, and like Megan said, y'all don't buy it. Y'all no. don't send it to us because by the time we record, by the you time we see this, we'll yeah, have it. We'll have it by the time y'all see this video. We'll have it, <laughs> so don't send it. Now this uh, look at that rail. I've been grabbing it. I'm <laughs> you, I've been grabbing. It. Uh huh. It is actually good when you're going up. You kind of pull on it. It kind of helps you with that first step. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Let's see. Right. Yeah, I gotta get my shoes off too. I love these little shoes that y'all sent me because I wear these out just, you know, to walk around the farm inside the animal pens. We got Megan these little boots from Tractor Supply. Those are her little farm boots. All right, let's get back here and see this bassinet. Oh yeah, y'all didn't see us. I put up this little accordion door here. Isn't it nice? Mm hmm That's our goal is like interior doors, like for uh Closet closets and bathrooms. bathrooms. Doors that are inside of a solid door. We're gonna have accordion doors, like right. sliding doors like so we that. Don't have to deal with the swinging, yeah. Because this door b <laughs> before it was swing and it would cover this whole space here. Megan wouldn't have wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to stand right here because mm -hmm. there would have been just this blank space back there. Where the door would be swung it. So uh, yeah, that's our plan. All the closets, all the interior doors to do accordion doors. All right, let's see this bassinet. So this is a little bassinet that we got for Benji. Let's see. Zipper. Things on the other side. Things on the other side. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really like it so far. It's nice and soft. I uh, ordered these little sheets separately but um the thing i like about it is it rolls mm -hmm. and so you know if i want to move it close to the bed i can um but i think that this will be ideal for um, breastfeeding he'll be able to be very very close to me but in a bed in a secure space his own space and i want to show y'all another thing that's really cool about it let's see I'll take that off. We probably won't even have it. We probably won't use it, yeah. But it's there for now. So here. Zip it down. Zips down. Here. And then this also falls down here mm -hmm. for easy access to Benjamin. So right after my surgery, I don't have to do a lot of bending and stooping and lifting mm -hmm. him, even though they say lifting the baby is fine, uh, but it'll, he'll just be right here. Yeah. So I have easy access to him as well. And I think that's made to where you can, you can. roll it up to the side of the bed yeah. and have easy access yep. to the baby. Mm -hmm. So you can just be in the bed at night you know which we you really don't do you don't really breastfeed in the bed you like to sit nah, up and breastfeed you don't, don't want to be like that woman that uh solid had to <laughs> rolled over on her baby oh, exactly yeah. yeah so yeah this is actually that, that they actually make this a call it's called a bedside what is it what, what's what's the name of it yeah some type of bedside, bedside bassinet. bassinet yeah because they actually had a little strap that you could strap to the they bed do. so that they won't like roll away anything like that yeah and these wheels they're locked right now mm -hmm. but the wheels actually lock as well so that's right and uh we wanted it with wheels on it because we'll be able to like you know wherever we are if megan is in the homeschool room homeschool and she wants to bring benjamin in there you know until he gets big enough for the uh pack and play mm -hmm. you know we can roll this in the kitchen roll it in the living room you know just move it around and uh benjamin's room will kind of be mobile yes exactly <laughs> yeah, the, benjamin's room will be whatever room i'm in that's right yeah he might want to spend a little bit of time with the boys in their room or something watch cartoons or something you know so uh Supervised time Honestly, with them. Not leaving Benjamin alone. And now with them crazy yeah. jokers, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> we know better. But yeah, this, this is like, the best thing. Uh, I made Benjamin Walker. I did such and such. Like, no. I fed Benjamin a bottle. It's like, no, you didn't. No, <laughs> For like, real. Where'd you get a bottle? Well, we had some uh, extra sheet milk mm -hmm. in the bottle. You're like, what? We're, we're going to have to get a sign laminated that says, do not touch if you're under the age of such and such. 
and we're gonna make everybody read all the kids Noah, do you know what this what this says do not touch <laughs> but uh yeah it's a nice little bassinet just simple and it may have some storage under here and i think some of you all sent some of this stuff like the wipes and the diapers and things and uh yeah so she's able to have little diapers under there and then this lets up and down as well you can let it down or let it up and it's just simple you know it has a the same color scheme that we're going for inside of Emma with and the grays and pretty nice. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. So that's the bassinet. All right, family. We just wanted to bring y'all in and show y'all Benjamin's bassinet and uh, show y'all this whole setup. Just very, very simple. We're trying to be minimalist in this season and not have too much stuff. You know, we've done the big, uh, you know, uh, what do they call it? The room for the children, the baby. Baby room. We've done like the big baby room with all the fancy decorations on the wall and the fancy like chandeliers that sing music and all that <laughs> type of stuff. All the toys laying everywhere. But uh, we're just keeping it simple this time. Using the kiss approach. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> for real. But uh, we're just going to call this it for today. I'm going to go out here and do the rest of the uh, evening chores. And we'll just pick y'all up on the next one. It's IG Farms. It's all about guys. See y'all on the next one. This is going to be here soon. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I'm complete.